Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm back for the bill swap and cash unstuffing for the month of September. In this video, if you guys have never seen one of the videos that I do, what happens is I pay all of my bills. I then use those notes to exchange in my other envelopes. I also do placeholder swaps in these videos, so I do have one to do today. But let's go ahead and get straight into it, so let's pay some bills. Alrighty, y'all. So out of my bills binder, I'm going to be paying these first seven and then we'll go into tithes, but let's go ahead and get rent paid for. So this is for my rent and my natural gas bill. It totals $1,120. Now, of course, my gas bill changes each month, but it just so happened that it was about 30 bucks this month. And then my half of the rent is about $1,090. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 11 is 1100 and $120 bill. Make sure that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,120. Perfect. Let's stick those up there and let's see how much is left over in rent. So we have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 50. 850 dollars left over in rent. That is great. Next up is subscriptions. So I'm pulling $30 out of here. That'll cover Netflix, Hulu, Apple Music, or whatever else we have going on. I don't even know how many subscriptions we have, but $30 coming out of this envelope. So 50, 70, $90 left over in subscriptions. In a cell phone, I'm gonna pull out 100. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That leaves $225 left over in cell phone. Let's see, electric gets paid in the middle of the month, so I don't pull anything out of this one. But in child care, I'm going to pull out $270 to cover my son's after school care. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, and 70. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, and 70, yes. So that leaves one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 in childcare. So getting really close to being a month ahead in this envelope. Internet, I'm pulling $30 out of here. So a 20 and a 10. Leftover in internet is $90, so 50, 70, 90. In dental insurance, pulling out 20 bucks. So 20, 45 dollars left in dental insurance. And in health insurance, I'm gonna pull out 40. So we'll pull out two 20s. And then left over in dental insurance is 20, 40, 60. I'm sorry, health insurance is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So $90 left over in health insurance. Okay, let's go ahead and get to my cash envelopes binder because that is where my tithes envelope is located. So out of tithes, I am pulling the entire amount, which is 40 bucks. So $40 coming out of there. And then before I get into the bill swap, I need to go ahead and do the placeholder swap. So in my Roth, I need to put a $1,000 placeholder. So going to the back of this envelope, this is getting very thick. Roth, I need to pull out a thousand. So I'll be pulling out this $500 placeholder, and then one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars in hundreds. So that'll give me a thousand. So three thousand. And then I'm going to put these up here. And I'm going to drop this back down into my desk. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into some swapping. 
I'm going to go ahead and stay in my long-term sinking fund binder since I'm already here. Let me go towards the front. Oh, if you guys have not checked out my most recent cash stuffing, I will link it above in the icon, but it's a, it's a really big one. It's over $2,000. So if you want to go ahead and give that a watch, I'll have it linked for you. Let's see, annual memberships. I think this one's fully consolidated. Yes, it is. We should be pulling a good amount of like fives and tens because I feel like we had a lot of those whenever I was doing that cash stuffing. So that one, that one's good. Tattoo fund. Let's try dental fees. Nope, that one's good too. Perfect. Car maintenance is good. New car, I'm going to be able to put 100 in. So 50, 70, 80, 95, 100. Let me scoot that over. I'm going to grab a hundred dollar bill. Perfect. I'm going to be able to do the exact same thing in a new home. That'll be perfect because I need these fifties for a wedding and baby. It's so 50, 70, 80, 90, five, 100. In wedding, I should be able to put another what, 50, I think. 20, 30, 45, yep, another 50 or a 50, I guess. There's not one already in there. So 50 going in here. Perfect. Same in baby. So 20, 30, 45, 50. And that is consolidated. Looks good. Now let's see what we can do in emergency fund. I know I can put 100, but can I put more than that? Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So let me do that first. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let me pull this five back. One, two, three, four, five. Getting so close to doing a thousand dollar placeholder in this envelope. I think it should I should be able to by the end of October. So that's really, really good. Next in Roth, we need to go back here. I think I can put a hundred in this one. So let's see. So one, 50, 70, 90, 2, 10, 30, 50, 75. So 275, one, two, three, four, 100. We'll keep that 50 in there. Perfect. In my son's envelope, Let's go ahead and exchange these two 50s really quick. Actually, do I need a 50? I think I need a 50. So let's exchange. So 50, 70, 90, 100. 50, 70, 90, 100. That is consolidated. Perfect. Okay, let's move on to the short term sinking fund binder. It's not looking that thick, but let's see what we can consolidate. I know I can put a hundred in Christmas. So 50, 70, 80, 95, 100. Perfect. Medical expenses is good. I definitely want to put a couple hundreds in vacation, or at least 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And then I think this is 50 bucks. So 20, 30, 45, 50. In clothing. Maybe get rid of some of these. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I don't think I want to do a hundred necessarily because I am going to be dipping into this envelope soon, but I do want to get rid of some of these lower denominations. 10, 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 40 bucks, so I'll grab two 20s instead. Let me move this over. Let's see, birthdays. Same, I'm gonna grab a 20, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Holiday fund. That would be 40, so let's do that. 10, 20, 35, 40. And household essentials, we have some fives in the back, so. Let's do a 20. We'll put this 10 and these two fives back up here. That's a 50. I don't think I'm gonna grab that 50 up there though because I do dip into this one. Home decor, let me grab a 20 in this envelope. And registration, let me grab a 20 in here as well. Car insurance, okay, this is where I'm gonna get a lot of 50s. So four 50s is 200 bucks. Let me just go ahead and grab 200s. Back to school is good, sports and clubs is good. Let's check out self-care. So 10, 15, 20, five, that's 30. So four fives makes 20. And then I'm pretty sure that YouTube is consolidated. Yes, okay. That does it for the short-term singing fund binder as well. So. Let's get back into bills and just see if there's anything I can consolidate in here. Starting off with rent, any hundreds I can grab. I think I can grab a 50 in here as well. So how many do I have? I got plenty. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50. So let me grab 400, 400 and a 50 for this envelope. One, two, three, four. That leaves three in here, or up here, I guess. And then a 50, we still have four of those. And subscriptions, we are looking good in there. Cell phone, I think I can grab 100 in. Oh no, we're good, we already have one. Electric, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 81. That's 150. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll grab 100 and then a 50. And child care, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Internet's good, dental insurance is good, and health insurance. I could grab 100 and I think. No, that one's good, that one has 90. Okay, let me see what's left I can put in investing, and then we'll go ahead and get this money counted. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So let me grab two 50s. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get this money counted.
Alrighty guys, now y'all know the drill. We're gonna do this denomination by denomination. So, let's get my little setup going. We have 150, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. Twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty sixty eighty two twenty forty sixty eighty three twenty forty sixty eighty four twenty forty sixty eighty five hundred Let's grab the rest of these. Twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty sixty eighty two twenty forty sixty eighty three twenty forty sixty eighty four twenty forty sixty eighty five twenty forty sixty eighty six six twenty forty sixty six hundred and sixty. Twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty sixty eighty two twenty forty sixty eighty three twenty forty sixty eighty four twenty forty sixty eighty five twenty forty sixty eighty six six twenty forty sixty six hundred and sixty. And all the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, thirty, one. So three hundred and ten dollars in tens. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five, seventy five, eighty five, ninety five, one, five, ten. One hundred and ten in fives. And then finishing the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So a total of two thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Getting some bills paid. We are also putting but five hundred into the bank for my Roth, which is exciting. But that is going to do it for today's bill swap and cash unstuffing for the month of September. Definitely, if you have not yet, check out the fourth week's cash stuffing of September because I get to put a ton of money into my vacation funds envelope. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you did like this video, please give a little like down below. I hope you guys have a great week and I will catch you in a future video. Thanks so much. Bye.